Good morning, everybody, or whatever time it is that you're watching this. I'm getting down to our parents' place to uh, feed the cows and some heifers that we have out on some Milo stalks. <laughs> So we just hauled down uh, buckets of this mineral and protein product that we feed up there. Then we just fill up this gravity trailer with uh, rolled corn and I just run it into the bucket. Um, and uh, since we're not feeding a huge amount of corn, uh, that works pretty good for us. And uh, like I said, this is just kind of a simplified version of our our feeding operation. So this mix is pretty uh, energy and protein rich um, because the cows are getting, uh, they still have some forage sprays and they're getting hay in a, a round bale feeder and the heifers have the mile stalks to get more roughage and so we don't need as much roughage in our uh, ration. I mean silage is kind of roughage but it's it's uh, also high energy. So now I drive a couple miles actually to where the heifers are and uh, we don't usually road our feed wagons very much but this year the way it worked out we're uh, doing that at least for the time being. So I just drive down this sandy gravel road. We have a nice row of bunks on this field to feed in. Well, we're getting there. The, as the cattle have cleaned up more of the goody from the field, they rely more and more on the silage and they, they're they waiting by the bunk when they know I'm gonna come in the morning.
So I also checked the electric fence and we just swap batteries every few days to keep it hot and keep them where they're supposed to be. I also check the mineral tub. It's been, I think, every like four or five days that we give them some more mineral and salt. And that just helps them, helps balance what they're eating and helps them digest it better. And then make sure to lock them back in. I drive home. All right, we have this little calf who's kind of an orphan, but we're feeding him and he's doing all right, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, you're doing all right. You're hungry this morning. We'll feed him a little hay and a little uh, pellets, and uh, he's eating pretty good himself. Yeah, these are what you're looking for. That's that's the good stuff. And then we also have that cow, that cow over there, her calf was sick, so we pulled them off and hopefully get them fixed back up. Let's see if I can find a good spot. The cows are kind of greedy and not smart. They all wait on this side when there's bunks available on both sides. But they all go here and eat this up first. But I can't feed it all there. So then I feed it over here and the patient ones, which I guess there's three of and some calves. The calves come over here. They're eating some silage already. Look at those all stars. Atta boy. There's one over there kind of hungry. We will be pulling these off of this field um, probably tomorrow and we're gonna work the calves and they're not gonna be weaned yet but we're gonna vaccinate them and, and castrate them and then they will go with the other group of fall cows and calves on a new set of stocks where we'll uh, keep feeding them silage. And then when it comes time to wean, we'll um, move them again. So while I'm driving the feed wagon, I'm listening to our local news and talk radio. And on a day like this, enjoying the pretty snow. You know, you have to enjoy how snow looks because sometimes it causes problems. Well, at least it looks nice. Christmas food. It's hardly seemed like it's about Christmas because we've had some pretty nice weather up until like the last week. It's been pretty warm. So. I also have to battle the, I wear a ton of clothes to be outside and then my chore tractor, the heater has been on while I'm loading it and it's nice and warm in here so I'm about to have to shut the heater off and take the coat off. Get out of my way! There's always that one guy. Come on, man. Scene first on Snapchat. Again, 
got the cattle fed and more. And now I'm gonna find some other things to do on this cold day. It's snowy, but I think it's actually warmer than yesterday. And we have some things we're trying to get done uh, before Christmas, so it's kind of like deal with whatever there is so that then we can not worry about anything but feeding cattle through uh, Christmas and all the festivities. Yeah. 